Hello everyone, welcome back, Dancer here. And today we are going to be starting a brand new franchise. Um, I know I've been starting a lot of franchises recently, uh, but this one I actually have all planned out and it's gonna be great. Um, it's actually gonna be more of a mega zoo. Um, I don't think we will be having every single animal um, just because I don't think it's realistic to get like the polar bears or more of like the tundra animals in. Um, we are going to be doing a uh, temperate biome in North America, I think. Yes, we are gonna do temperate in North America on hard, as you all know. Um, and we are going to be naming this one Silver Garden Zoo. Um, I did get this name off of the random name generator site that I have been using recently. Um, I I don't know why, I just can't ever really think of names. Um, so I love random name generators. If you have any names um, for a future park, um, do leave that in the comments and who knows, maybe it will get used. Um, so this is kind of what we got to work with. Um, we have quite a bit of space. I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Uh, we have quite a bit of space as you can see. If we zoom out, we have a lot of space, which is perfect because this is going to be a giant zoo. Um, it will have the safari ride, maybe the boat ride, um, and then it will also have probably a train track or railroad, and most likely a monorail. Um, so basically going with everything that we can um, for transportation, uh, yeah, if we view May, the probably the only one we won't use actually is going to be the suspended gondola and I just won't use it because it is so big like look at that compared to the entrance it's like huge uh, so yeah I just don't think that we will be using that uh, but I do have great plans in mind um, so yeah if you want to see anything um, particular in this zoo do let me know um, if you have any ideas for enclosures. Um, I do have like a rough idea of what we want to do, but we will get back into that in the time lapse, uh, which we are going to hop in now. And we are going to get the first bit of this zoo on the way. Uh, I hope you guys are as excited as I am um, because we are going to hop into the first time lapse in this silver garden zoo that we are starting today all right everyone uh welcome to the time lapse um so right away i should let you all know that i did cut up part of the time lapse um it just took me way too long um struggling which i didn't think you guys would want to see uh like struggling with this path right away um i actually probably could have cut more out of this for you guys um but decided to leave a little bit in um it goes pretty fast from here out, um, just because I had kind of finally figured out what I wanted to do um, and how I was going to execute that. Uh, so I am going to tell you guys a little bit about the plan of the zoo uh, while we are in the time lapse. Um, so right away, my main plan for the zoo is to get almost all of the animals, like I said earlier, um, but I'm not going to do it like the typical way that I see a lot of um, YouTubers do it or a lot of zoos um, that I see on YouTube and stuff. Um, I actually want to do like different trails for animals. So I want to do like um, one of the trails that we're going to be doing is the extra extravagant elephant, uh, which will have a lot of the puffer skinned animals like both of the elephants, it'll have the hippopotamus, uh, the rhinoceros, pygmy hippo, um, the gharials, and some other animals kind of like that. Um, we're also going to add a little bit of the um, other African animals in there. Um, and then we will have the gorilla excursion, which will have all, I believe, all of the primates um, and, and or monkeys and such. Um, and it's also going to have a couple of the other tropical um, animals. 
Um, another one will be the treetop trail, which will be more of the jungle animals. Um, and that one's going to have like the jaguar, the Fort Moji and black bear, um, Indian peafowl, and a couple of others. I'm not 100% sold on what I have in there yet. So if you know of any and want to suggest, uh, please do let me know. Um, and we are going to have the panda path, which will have Siberian tigers, uh, giant panda, of course. We will have red panda, grizzly bear, timberwolf, um, and probably some others. So don't don't worry, we'll we'll get it filled up. Um, and yeah, that is about all of them that I have in the game so far. Um, I also do want to have a river boat um, with some of the more swimming animals. Um, and then I also want to do the safari ride. Um, so for like the elephants and the lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Um, but yeah, I'm going to add those all in. Um, if you, there's a specific animal you want to see in a specific area, please do let me know. Um, so yeah, this episode we are actually going to be getting in the American bison and the pronghorn antelope. Um, I thought they would be perfect for the start of this new zoo. Um, and yeah, I actually gave them like a huge exhibit. Habitat, sorry. Um, I don't know why I gave them such... I guess... Okay, when I look at the path, it looks like I'm using like a lot... Or the path is like a lot smaller than what it actually is. Um, so I think that kind of, um, kind of fooled me a little bit into thinking it was a lot, um, bigger. Um, so I think their total traversable area in here is right now about 2,000 square meters. Um, so we can shrink it up. However, I don't think I want to shrink it up quite yet or at all. Um, but we will come across that later um and yeah here we're just grabbing a couple i think i got one male and two female of each um so that they can be nice and happy and yeah we do have to still build the um the hard shelter for them uh you will see that um we right now we're at fifteen thousand, thirteen thousand. Then we're gonna get a gift shop and be at like eleven thousand dollars so we're actually sitting really well so far for this zoo um, we do have all of the staff areas down but um you will see why we are struggling with money in just a second i maybe went a little too overboard with this first little restaurant area um so i do a pre or apologize for that i don't appreciate it nah nah i'm tired um <laughs> but yeah so we are going to um work on that the building did not get finished um i did leave us some leeway but i was scared to add any more building um of any sort like that in um i didn't i did, just didn't want to run out of money or anything like that uh so yeah and then i just was taking out these pieces and i decided i want to go with a new world theme um so we are getting some planters in i actually did not fill them up um but we will do that next episode um so don't worry um and yeah there was a bunch that i did cut out um from this building um just because i was not happy with it so i undid it all and we are now doing something else um this is where all of the money comes from because each of these pieces is ten dollars and there are 72 pieces um so yeah, this little four meter by four meter square is quite expensive, if you can tell. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really good. It's kind of our own little take on the New World, um, that lighter wood tone that there is. Uh, but yeah, we do use this a little bit and we duplicate it around. Um, it's not in its finished state, so don't worry. Um, we will be adding to this building a lot. Um, but yeah, that's about it for the time lapse. Please let me know um, what you think of the time lapse. I hope you guys are excited um, because I sure am. And I think this series is going to be a great one. And yeah, we will see you guys in a second. 
Okay guys, we are back. Um, I realized I might have gotten a little carried away a little too soon. Um, we are at $3,700. I don't want to build any more of this because it is very expensive. Um, but I believe it does give 100%. Um, so yes, it does. Definitely don't need to worry about that. Everyone will be happy right there. Um, we are going to open up the park, but before we do, I um, should have done this during the time lapse, but I just remembered right now. Uh, so we are going to get all of these condiments on uh, just to help guest happiness and hopefully draw in a couple more guests. Um, so, uh, and then you did see earlier, I did go into the trade center and i did buy two pronghorn antelopes and no we would we did three pronghorn antelopes and three um american bison i believe um so we will be getting them in in just a second um we also do have to hire staff yeah we are almost done with this sorry about um not remembering until just now uh, but okay let's go ahead and we are going to hire staff that we will need um, which will be um, a caretaker we will need a keeper uh, we will need a mechanic a security and last but not least i think i um, a, a vet. I think I pressed the wrong button there. Um, but I think now we are good to start playing the zoo. Um, I do want to go in here and move these guys over to the quarantine really quick. Um, normally I don't actually get the quarantine in, but I thought... You know what? We're getting a bunch of animals from different places, so we better do that. Uh, we are going to move all of them over. This is such a long process. Um, like, the buttons just don't ever click for me. Let me know if you have that issue, too. We, I think we can unpause, um, because they do have stuff to do while they start. Uh, we are low on cash. If you couldn't tell, we're at 3700 Not losing money. Oh, wait. We need power. I always forget about power. Water and power. Um, we need this one. We still need to sell this the red kangaroo that is in our trade center. Uh, so we will do that. But before we do, we need to get some water and power out here. Go water treatment. Oh, I thought I was paused, but apparently not. Go right here and a transformer right there. And there we go. Our sh zoo should be up and running. Um, you can tell or you can see that we have quite a big area here. Um, and it's really plain right now, but don't worry, we are going to fix it. I promise. Um, next episode, when we have a little bit more money, we will definitely fix that. It says we need a vet surgery, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. And we are low on cash. Um, so, if we can, once we put the animals in, we will get more money. Um, but I do want to start the zoo, change the zoo opening and closing time. Um, and Here's a little trick. If you also play in franchise and want better lighting for building a project, if you change the zoo opening hours um, and kind of adjust it, it will change the angle of the, um, the sun so you can build a little bit faster and um, with better lighting. Um, so yeah, if you didn't know that, now you know. Uh, we have the quarantine starting to pass. 
Um, so we are going to move these in. Actually, I think they're all done now. Yep. Move them into here, and then we should start to see guests arriving in the zoo. Um, so that will be good. Hopefully be able to make some money. Um, hopefully. Yeah, here they come. Here are all of our guests. And, um, I will fix this. Oops, sorry. I will fix this, don't worry, um, so that it doesn't do this. Um, I want to slow down time now. Um, we... Yay, we completed one of them already. Perfect. Um, now we just need to earn a yearly profit of $2,000 and have 300 guests in the zoo. Um, I'm really happy to see that people are walking down here to come and look at the animals. Um, and they're able to look out here. That is exactly what I wanted. Um, we don't have any um, education in, so maybe we should do that. Um, education right here. Oops, wrong button. I always never know where my f my fingers at. Um, and then we will also be getting a railing up here. Um, haven't yet. And we will bring it. Actually, you're going to duplicate this one. Oh, it didn't work like I thought it would. I thought it might keep that same height, but unfortunately it did not. Um, but I also want to have here um, awesome sight lines, so I do have some awesome plans in, in motion now um, to get these sight lines. Um, if you know of the zoo, um, the Kowali Zoo, um, they focus a lot on different sight lines and things. Uh, so I am also trying to focus on that. What? Can't find an ex- Well, okay. Um, we will be getting a staff room up here for our vendors, uh, but that will come with time. Um, we are having some issues. Hey, we will say hello to you. Um. Okay, we might have an issue with the staff. They can't find the, um, staff room. Um, it might be actually worth it to move it. Exit the group and move it to here. Maybe? Well, let me move it. I don't know why it won't let me move it. Move. Exit the work zone. Flip it. And then place it. Um. It won't let me or place it at all. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, well, they're walking that way. Um, low welfare. Oh, they're probably stressed. Oh no, I forgot about that. Oh, well, um, that's not good at all. They are definitely stressed. Let's get some trees and stuff in. Uh, they can have a lot of coverage. Can you guys have that much coverage? Not that much. Uh, but that's fine. We will we'll work with it. We will for sure build a structure in here for them to hide in. Um, yeah. Let's get the coverage in for them. Nature will go continent North America. Oops, and we actually want biome. Temperate and not taiga grassland. Um, we'll get a couple trees in and hopefully that will help. 
some ash trees in. Um, does that help at all with stress? Oh, the bison also gets stressed. Well, I should have uh, looked at that a little bit more before I decided that they would be the first animals in. Uh, we have protesters now. Um, that's not good at all. Um, we are going to get a bunch of trees down right in the beginning here. Um, if we can make a little bit more money, uh, we can try a couple of things. We need security. Do not disturb signs. Go here, here, here. Oh, let's look at that heat map for secure and do not disturb. Okay, it does cover all of this area. Um, so hopefully that will help. I think it did. And then also having the trees right in the front here should help as well. Um, social going up. And your social is going down, but you're walking closer to the area. Um, you are good. Okay, well, we have struggles now, but don't worry. We will kick the zoo off right. Um, we just need to get these animals feeling better and stuff like that. You know, actually, what we didn't do is look at the terrain. Um, it does look like so far it's good. Um, how about for you guys? Train? Yeah, train's actually good. Um, it doesn't look the greatest, but um, let's let's fix it up a little bit because I do want it to look good. The one thing I always do when I do train is I fill it all in with grass, uh, with the short grass to get rid of the long grass, um, and then from here we will add some long grass over here. I'm actually going to bring that intensity down a little bit. Um, and yeah, we're going to add long grass over on this mountain here. Or tiny little hill. not a, Definitely not a mountain. Um, we are going to do some soil in here. And I also want a little bit of rock, but not much. That is probably good. What needs our attention? Staff rooms. Hey, our money is like way up now. Um, how much is it for a staff room? That's not the right one. Um, staff facilities. And we want a staff room. $2,000. Um, so we will hopefully get that in next episode. But we are going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, actually, they're about to mate. Um, so we will see if that's successful next episode. We're just going to go ahead and pause. Um, and yeah, thanks for hanging out. And we will see you guys all next time. Bye!